Welcome back to my let's play of Shadowrun the Dead Man Switch. Shadowrun returns the Dead Man Switch. We just went into the Matrix playing as Johnny Clean. So, um. Let's see. God damn it. We're in the Tron world. Huh. Apparently, deckers are just magicians in, on the internet. That makes sense. Cough instead of HP, it's IP. <laughs> IP damage. I internet persona. I see us down. See if there's a match for this fingerprint. DNA match located. 100% match. Rest records database. Silas Forsberg, deceased. Chop shop. Search to kill assistant. Breaking and entering. Two counts. Public indecency. One count. Brought in for questioning on accusations of unlicensed plastic surgery. No charges were filed. 100% match to dead man. Let's keep looking. That's scary. The river is scary, you guys. Angry things shooting at me. This really looks like the first Matrix movie, um, or at least um, a combination of the first Matrix movie and the second one. Um, personally, I prefer the first one. Autopsy records. Silas Forsberg topic was found overdosed on half a dozen. Some different sedatives. Several anti anxiety medications were also found in his system. Face was mutilated, possibly self inflicted. Identity could not be confirmed immediately due to the disfigurement. Had to check dental records to confirm. No next of kin. Large puncture wounds were found in several places on the body. Poss possibly large bore surgical needles. Body had been deco decomposing for several weeks before the landlord noticed the smell and called the police when no one answered the door. This just keeps getting weirder. I agree. This is very weird. I'm not supposed to be dead. Next door then. Let's see what's behind door number three. And let's see, let's hide behind this thing. And shoot this thing. The newsnet has DNA. That's creepy. Please die. Ow. Do I have any? Let's heal. There we go. Box is dead. Gone. Here we go.
So this force worked as a chop shop, chop shop surgical assistant was found in an apartment in Snorholmish earlier this week. The body had been there for long as as long as a month when Forsberg's landlord noticed a rancid smell and contacted authorities. Lomstar representative had issued a statement saying Forsberg's death has been ruled a suicide. According to reports, his body a mass of puncture wounds and the cause of death were dependent to be on overdose of anti stress medications and sedatives. The man's employer claims he was a dedicated employee, though he suffered from bouts of depression. Forsberg's next of kin could not be located, but the attorney appointed to his estate has lo located a will written weeks prior, leaving all of his belongings to a psychiatrist. The identity of psychiatrist has not been released due to privacy concerns. He cannot have sat end to a life, as is far too common here in this brawl. Let's regroup in the meat space for a bit, yeah? A psychiatrist? That's at least a lead. Go back to the meat space. Oh, here's what we know. Our DNA evidence belongs to a dead man whose death was never explained. He worked with chop shops, which fits with the living guy that you met. Newsnet says he left left his estate to a psychiatrist. Maybe finding out who this as a psychiatrist was will give us our next clue. My gut says we can deck him in the medical board's records and the rivers. Let's find this doctor. You in? Punch it, man. Yeah, confirm. Let's go. Where can I hide to not die? Please don't kill me. There we go. Damn. Oh, God damn it. Just die. There we go. Medical bot number one. Searching well. Silas Forsberg. Silas Forsberg located. One particular petition. Addition's entry stands out from the rest. Child suffers from a chronic depression and social anxiety most likely caused by physical abnormalities. We've seen many cases like this recently with the outbreak of changeling children being born. With apparent physiology we've seen there is no telling what sort of brain function are affected. Prescribed a series of sedatives last year that seem to have no effect. Upping the dosage. Data missing or corrupted. Contact your administrator for help. But it's quite large and takes well over an hour to read through. The final entry, however, is the most significant. Dr. Henry Holmes. Silas has overcome significant mental disorders and no longer goes through periods of violent episodes. The latest medications have proven especially effective, but, be but I believe that being treated by another elf has significantly impacted his treatment. Unfortunately, my efforts to maintain an emotional boundary with him has proven ch Challenging. He has bonded to me in an unhealthy and frankly an unnerving way. His hero worship excessive exhibits itself in the form of mimicking speech patterns and adopting my dress. For this reason and for the health of our patient, I am assigning another doctor to his case. I'll inform him at the next session. Got a name now, Dr. Holmes. Let's keep going and find out where, we, where he works. Oh crap. God damn it. I need some health. Okay. So he can also kill my meat self. That's scary. Ok, 
Okay. Let's lose something. Henry Holdings Holmes. Check current employment status. Currently holds the position of chief psychiatrist in the Ministry of Mercy Mental Hospital. Check. Okay. Check previous employers. Psychiatrist in residence, Mercy Mental Hospital in Snowmish. Attending psychiatrist, Mercy Mental Hospital in Snowmish. Private practice. Okay. Back to meet space. This is awesome. Reality as the end of the day contextual and as the meat world comes back into focus your head once again tries to sell on which world is the real one. While the philosophical question lingers in your meat body demands food and drink. Disconnect from your deck to find that Union safe house has risen. Need help man. Yeah, let's get a better better armor. Sure. How do I sell? Let me see what he's got. That was the little bit of a uh, consumables. Health, health, no health, no wine. Do you have health? No mind. You must have health. You're a doctor. Okay, let's see. Okay, confirm. Let's have a look at her cyberware. Plus six HP. I can live with that. Okay, now we have a metal arm. That works. It's a fry. Devin looks almost as tired as you do. You can tell if this case has got on the skin like it has yours. Any luck in there? We found an exact match for the DNA, but it was linked to a dead job shop at just assisted by the name of Silas Forsberg. Now I have my theories for what you think is going on here, mistress. The DNA evidence doesn't belong to the killer. I guess that's still a possibility. You seem pretty sure when we got here that it did. Lord Salas's autopsy report, report though. Anything I stand out? <sighs> he was killed by sedatives, but the coroner still thought he had ripped his own face off. Coroner really phoned it on, in on that way. It happens way too often where there's no next of kin willing to foot the bills for four hours at autopsy. Definitely don't think that report told the whole story. It matched the identity by the dental records, right? Not the most reliable. It matches up with something I've seen runners try. Is he enough to find a body shop that'll make your a replica set of teeth for you? Find some slop off the street no one will miss, swap the teeth and throw the heat off your trail for a while. Like I've never been that desperate. Why would he need to go to those lengths? 
the police records have something linking him to a different crime? Probably got in all his head on loans. Chop chop, this isn't, doesn't pay well. We didn't see any evidence of that. And he left his estate to a psychiatrist, right? He has his psychiatrist help him fake his death to escape his rap sheet. Why would his DNA wind up at the crime scene though? Was he posing as a doctor at a previous murder site? Someone planted it there. I have no evidence of that. Personally I figure it sounds like he wanted to become a surgeon, but he got caught in the wrong line of work. During his tenure at the chop shop he was brought in for unlicensed plastic surgery. Won't get a medical license after that one. Dr. Holmes' employment records have him as the administrator at Mercy Mental. The picture on his file matches the person you saw downtown, the same person this DNA belongs to. All the evidence points to him being your killer, whoever he really is. You should go find this Dr. Holmes and ask him some very pointed questions. Please have pay my respects, I always find that high caliber rounds get the message across. You should clearly have some friends to go loaded for bear. As I load a ton of valuable data from those Lone Star Matrix nodes, here's your caught. I'll see you later. Oh well. Thank you, Johnny Clean. Hopefully some of the others will help me. Mr. Delilah? Nice to see you. If you're looking for runners again, I'm your guy. Discreet service only. Okay. Let's, uh. Let's get Shannon again. And, uh. Let's see. There we go. Confirm. The blood you found at the warehouse belongs to a man masquerading as one Dr. Holmes. I was tracked into Mercy Mental Hospital, located in a notoriously anti meta human farmlands of Snohomish. They the drive to the hospital is long and, us and unpleasant. Finally, you reach the walled and gated hospital compound. Despite the pretense of security, the gate is unguarded, unlocked, and open. No one stops or greets you as you drive up to the large, crumbling building. Gothic ramparts top a damaged roof, cracked walls, and broken windows. All around the building is a long gone wild. Only the artificial light from within speaks of inhabitants. You will go up to the hospital steps to confront Sam Watts' killer and bring an end to the Emerald City River. And we're doing that next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll re you'll join me for the for what seems to be the great conclusion. I'll see you then.